Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hopefully, you're doing awesome. If you don't know, you need to be told my name. It's Paul Burry, family from the gaming, and I'm starting Tales of Arise. This is the first time playing Tales of Arise. Ooh, yeah. This game is not a save feature. Do not close the game or shut off the PS5 console while the save icon is displayed on the screen. Auto saving. Okay. Auto saving. It's up in the upper left hand corner. I see it. Rosebud. More like rose petals, but hey. Press the any button. Oh, good grief. You have to accept all of their terms? Well, we have terms on our legal page that they must accept because we're playing it, so uh, they have to accept all of our terms, too. Oh, I must hit decline. Pay attention. Yeah, so uh, Bandai Namco Entertainment has to accept all the terms on the Family Friendly Gaming website, the legal page. They are required to accept all of our terms as well. If there's any conflicting terms, uh, they have to agree to ours. Can I just decline that one? There we go. <coughs> What's voice selection? English, yeah, that sounds good. I'd like to hear English voice acting. Difficulty, normal, moderate, hard, story. Tales of the Rise? Yeah. What is this? I'm going to go story because, quite honestly, I don't really care about the battles. And the other Arise, the, ta the other Tales game, sorry. The Tales game is really boring and dull. You have to sit there and grind forever. <coughs> Let's go short. 
Oh, how long do I have to input? Ah, uh, I guess I didn't want long. Uh, all right. Wait. Subtitles. I guess let's do no subtitles. Just in case there's profanity that won't appear on the screen. That's my hope. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Is that some false goddess? Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods. Oh, yeah, false gods already. Where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome priests <coughs> known as Zugles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. Hmm. That was 300 years ago. Alien invasion. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Fire Master Corps. Mm. Good for him. Is he the first one to go after? Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Death. Called it. <laughs> Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. What's the point of them doing that? I mean, they have forgotten what it means to be. Are they building something for them? So complete is the Renin's domination. So it's a dark world. Got it. Being so close to those pillars doesn't seem like a good idea to me. She's gonna fall down. Called it. Kid's gonna help us. <clears throat> Thank you, Iron Mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Doc? Holiday? Hudson? Doc to treat you. 
I'm so sorry I'm asking. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. But that's why Doc tells you to be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, at the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you. I don't regret a thing, so don't sweat it, Cole, okay? Okay, thanks, Iron Mask. I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. Hey, Doc. Enjoying your oh, hospital. You again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. It's the mask. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. Huh. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Hmm. Keep your voice down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn <laughs> things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and look for yourself. There. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that. But I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Not the faster person wins the race. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. <coughs> he doesn't have a thing on his hand either. They have that thing on the back of their hands. Like, good. Guess I'll go back to my room. Okay, thanks for saving me earlier. The bright eyes stick these weird stones on our bodies and then work us above until we're dead. Thirteen beatings from them weren't enough. When they're in a really bad mood, they like to sick their zeagles on us. I'm a slave, just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or face, or memories for that matter? Sorry, no matter how... No matter how tired you get seeing them, you can always find Rena and Lingus hanging up in the sky. The Linkiness and special officers, there's no way you ever hope to beat the Renans when they can build floating castles like that. Not like worrying about it'll change anything. I should get some rest. Ah. I found my hobble. How many people have slept in this bed before me? Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. Yes, tomorrow is always another day. The next day. <clears throat> is that all saving or loading? I better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. I can talk to him. Hurry and going, you're on the freight hauling duty today. Ooh, sounds fun. Great. Time is 
start another day toiling away for the rants. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Maybe, maybe not. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. Some beast hauling the train. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hoo yeah. Good intel. What a shot. One one shot and he gets her free. The hell? I recognize somebody's voice in previous Tales games. We're here to save you. She runs like a girl. Okay. I don't think a normal person can survive a jump that far. <coughs> How'd you pick up the trains? How does he see through that? Hey, you're. Are you a girl? He's never seen a girl before. I like, I like not. Hey, King Kevin, how you doing? How's that train you? Sorry about that. I had to jump start the train. Just kind of floated across. I finally got the Tales of Arise, Kevin. Glad to hear you're doing good. I'm doing good. Enjoying life. Hey, you took my crowbar away. I have a plan other than just avoid their blades, huh? Yes, the Rams won the Super Bowl. We plan on doing a, a video talking all about the Super Bowl, the bad officiating, the commercials, the uh, halftime show. We're going to do a video on it at some point. And then maybe do a reacts, do some reacts to some of the, the uh, commercials we like. Yes, there was some guy who, as the announcer said, he'll be in the Hooskow soon. It's like jail, prison. Happy Valentine's Day, Kevin. 
Oh. There goes that bridge. You all missed your chance to become Lord. Hey, no, I couldn't hear what he said. For me, the mighty Balsas. Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion. Yes, sir. Hmm. Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord of Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, oh, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive hmm. me. Ganabelt Volkiris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. He's having lots of trouble. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance. And it's going to get worse. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me. I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once <coughs> but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it. And you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. <laughs> it looks empty. Oh. Hey, man, those cups were they're worth money. They're valuable. You just broke a valuable cup. Uh, so like the eye tests. One or two? Two or three? Hey, thanks for the host, Kevin. You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance. For the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eye's best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? The Resistance. I didn't know such a thing existed. Lay Resistance! Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought nope. we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. I'm interested. I'm interested. They're interrogating her? If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. Uh, what is this place? It's the old Xanonium mine, one of the Crimson Crows safe houses. Abandoned mines like this are pretty commonplace, so we know shortage of places to hide out. If you want to know something, I can tell you what I can. Okay, I'm good. So what the hell is going on? I need to go and find out for myself. Here we go. <coughs> Don't touch her. God damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever do? Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted. Huh? He's messing part of his ear. It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? How'd they catch her? If they couldn't touch her. They had her chain, too. For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. 
When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now we come across Miss Prickly herself. Mm -hmm. Drop the attitude. Do you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you, Miss Shion Imeris? Shion. I've never heard Shion before. Oh, the slime TV show. You didn't figure it out already. Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname, which means one thing. How's his mask get broken then? Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a damn from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't them right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, look! You see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind! The scars are behind you. Not to rest until every last one of you is... We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts. But, it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here, either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? No. Curse. Fair enough. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... Oh. An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. If he gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. Hey, Iron Mask! Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. How'd you tie your hands? A rusty sword acquired. Huh. Dull sword. Enemy attack! An ambush. Lemons are here. I have to find an exit. We can get the hell out of here. Huh. Okay. Hurry and find another new exit. Ha! Ah, my first save. One about half an hour into the game. <clears throat> Anyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Damn! How did they find out about this place? Have these kinds of battles been going on this entire time? I just didn't know. Oh, got to fight. Stop right there. Oh. It's just a Danon. You there. Where's the Renan girl who was here? Back that way. Well, I'm... Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! Back that way. How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? Well, I'll show you in Benin! R1 for a normal attack. Alright, so basic. Okay. Okay. Talk or die! So much for playing nice. Alright, we're up. Now, real fight. Still, I have to do this. I won't go quietly. Got him. <coughs> All right. Our one's a little weird, but okay. I actually beat one of those Renan soldiers. Yep. I've got to keep going. We beat him. I have to survive this no matter what. Oh boy. Well, 
on. Down. <laughs> Second battle. We won. Okay. Hi. That's the one was completely unarmed. How'd you get that weapon? I was playing. It saved me for sure. Oh boy. Shion <coughs> be mayor. I merit daily. I hereby detain you in the name of his excellency, Lord Volta. Damn it. Throw down I was your so weapon. close. What the? What the? You've got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers, you're... Shut up and get out of here while you still can! Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. Fine, suit yourself. Okay. We fight together. Oh. 